Hey, what's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. I'm here with a new segment called Not So Recent Reads. This is where we do a little review of a comic book series that you guys want to know about, but I already read it years ago and don't feel like rereading it. So we're going to bring it back. We're going to look at the books, talk about the story, and uh, try to remember as much as we can. Stay tuned. All right, guys, The Boys by Garth Ennis. Uh, I remember not knowing anything about this storyline. Uh, I know that these deluxe editions were sought after. I was collecting a lot of hardcovers. I was able to snag them off InStockTrades.com, and I was able to get The Whales, uh, Volumes 3 and 5, for cover price at um, at one of my local comic shops. Actually, when I was in Past, Present, Future for my last LCS Spotlight, they had 3 and 5 there as well. I was thinking about picking them up. But I didn't. The Boys is written by Garth Ennis, which you guys may have, uh, you may know from Preacher, you may know from from Punisher Max. Uh, he's done a lot of other things, but this is a superhero story with a Garth Ennis twist, and it's kind of like what if superheroes were in the real world? Well, they would probably be assholes and get into all kinds of trouble with drugs and sex and violence, and they would have uh, PRs that would have to cover things up and. It's a really entertaining run. I remember reading these and I couldn't put it down, man. I thought it was funny as hell. It was raunchy and it was um, uh, an awesome take on superhero comics. They're all fictional characters, but you have like your Superman type of character. You have your X-Men type of group. And actually, they have comic books in the comic. And the comic books are published to make them look like good guys, even though they're really kind of douchey. The term the boys is used for a government black ops agency that's put together to try to keep these superheroes in check and they you know happen to have special powers as well so let's take a look at these deluxe editions now unfortunately for me um even though i open these all out of the shrink wrap themselves most of mine still have binding issues so they have a hardcover slip case they're like $75 to $100 cover price. And they're called uh, deluxe editions, but they're really like the same thing as absolute editions. So, I mean, let's take a look at these because I don't even remember a lot of these things. So, Homelander's like the Superman character, and he's batshit crazy, but the public doesn't know. So you have the main character, Butcher, who's kind of like the slick-talking, badass guy that's running it. And then you get the rookie, who is our guy, Wee, Hue, uh, Wee Huey. Or is it just Huey? I don't really remember. Who's kind of like, it's kind of like Training Day, but Garth Ennis superhero type shit. Definitely triple X rated. Crazy stuff happens in here as far as like sex and violence and... Just crazy, inappropriate, like what Garth Ennis does best. So let's flip through this. Uh, I'll show you guys each of the deluxe edition, and I'll talk about it as I go through the artwork, and I will, we'll recall some stuff. But that's basically the gist of the story without giving any kind of spoilers. So let's take a look at the art. All right, so I, I was calling them deluxe editions, but it's actually the definitive editions. This is volume one. Garth Ennis, Derek Robinson... This is the slipcase. <clears throat> Here's the back. Here's the front of the dust jacket. Looking like NWA. Here's the back. And then under this uh, dust jacket, you just have black leather books with uh, shiny red letters. So there you go. Here goes the boys. That's that government agency. Homelander. Superman type character. <clears throat> you can see very graphic. Right away. Sets the tone for the whole run. So Butcher, like I said, the main guy. And then you can see in the background, he's watching like the Justice League type characters. So we live in a world 
where they're superheroes. <laughs> Let's see, look at this. And then, like, in this scene, how we meet our guy Huey is that his girlfriend gets killed as a casualty of uh, superhero battles. Right? So this is kind of how it gets set, set off, right? He's kissing his girlfriend. Friggin' juggernaut type character gets thrown. He's still holding her hands. Her body gets ripped off. <laughs> a Quicksilver type character says, out of my fucking way. And that's how he gets kind of inducted into the boys. Because you gotta kind of keep these superheroes under control. So this is a crazy thing too. So this character, I forget her name, but she's a superhero and she wants to join like the, the Justice League, whatever they're called. So the Superman character is pretty much like, hey, it's initiation time. So you can imagine, you know, what he has her do to join the group. Basically, a sexual act. <clears throat> so I think this is like the team of mutant teenage kicks. Forget what this guy's thing is. So let's see what this collects. So this is issue one through fourteen of the boys. And the binding on this one is okay. What happens to some of them is that the pages, uh the uh, the glue has been lifted up off the ribbon. All right, here goes volume two of the definitive edition. Here's the dust jacket. And like I said, they all look the same as far as the hardcover is concerned. This collects issues 15 through 30. So you can see very raunchy. You're pretty much getting the same thing in each book. So, I mean, I'll just flip through these so you guys can see the artwork and stuff. But basically, Huey's looking at Butcher. You know, Butcher seems to have ulterior, mo uh, ulterior motives. Like most of these type of additions, there's a lot of bonus content in the back. Volume 3 uh, has always been a whale, probably just the print run number. And I think that's when it went from 75 to 100 No, it's still 75 I think the later volumes go to a $100 cover price. <clears throat> All right. So this collects issues one through four of the boys hero gasm, which is like this crazy orgy event that the heroes get to do once a year. It's kind of like uh, Lollapalooza, but not with music. <laughs> then they have issues 31 through 38 of the ongoing. Yeah, it's like this big orgy where anything goes. I think they set it up so that the they the superheroes can get it out of their system and not do this shit in public because they're trying to maintain that good image for the superheroes. Yeah, let's see a lot of nudity. Crazy shit happens, man. So 
So our boy Huey ends up forming a relationship with that girl who was that recruit superhero. But they each don't know that one's a superhero and one's part of the boys. I won't spoil what happens with that, but... You can imagine what happens. <laughs> Some scripts in the back. I never read scripts. <clears throat> Alright, on to volume four. Yeah, and then it goes to a $95 cover price. I forget what this chick's deal is all about. I think she's just some super badass killer. I think she might be a kid. Who's our boy? All right, collects issues 39 through 47 and issues 1 through 6 of the boys Highland Laddie. It's a little mini series they have. Now here's volume five, the other whale out of the set. I don't really remember that character. I feel like she might have been Butch's ex or something like that. Butcher, whatever his name is. This collects issues 49, I'm sorry, 48 through 59, and one through six of the boys, Butcher, Baker, Candlestick Maker. Yeah, they all have ribbons too. This piece of work is the guy that does all the comics. <laughs> See, look, I have bad binding here. Rips up off the uh, ribbon. All right, and last uh, volume. Volume 6. So this collects the final issues, issues 60 through 72 of the ongoing. <laughs> the binding is tore up on this one too. See how it comes off the ribbon? Crazy. I'm interested to see what you guys say in the comments on this run, man. Sick book. Alright guys, so that's my not-so-recent reads on The Boys by Garth Ennis. My favorite Garth Ennis books would have to be The Boys and Preacher. And I would look at it like this is the superhero book that he wrote, and Preacher is like the... Um, paranormal book that he did highly recommended they have trade paperbacks i believe they're just now really uh re either re-releasing these or some other kind of hardcover collected edition i highly recommend it if you're into the same type of stuff that i'm into 
Uh, let me know what you think about the boys. Uh, drop me a like on the way out. And make sure you subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Stay minty. Peace.